Do you need Mutt Coins or do you need 2KMT or even a grinding service on any console? Check out my coin sponsor for the fastest, most reliable coins and grinding services. Use code NEAN for 5% off all coins and 10% off all grinding services. Link for his Twitter is in the description. As you read in the title, I'm going to be going through the best ways to level up and get level 60 as quick as possible. And just basically like the glitchiest ways and the best ways to get level 60. I am literally 500 XP away from level 34 and I haven't played the game in two weeks. I played the game like 11 days in a row when I was out on school break because I had a ton of snow come in. And then after that, you can see from my dailies, I have not been playing. I am beyond a week uh, behind of everyone, and I'm not going to be able to get all of my dailies. But that is my first thing I want to go ahead and say. Make sure you boys are doing your dailies every single day if you want to level up as quick as possible. Because literally, if you do your dailies for two days, you get 12,000 XP right away. And then within um, five days, you're getting another 12,000. So with you get some two days and then three days later, you're getting some. And then every five days from then on out until 20 or until 30. And then it's 30, then 40. Now, you may ask yourself, why am I actually grinding the field pass in the first place? As it just kicks me from the field pass is just because the cards, the coins and the XP in general, the thought of XP. So what I've said all year is XP or XP equals levels and levels equals coins. Now, as you go through here, I'm going to just scroll through and look at some of the rewards you're going to get from leveling up. And this is not the only field pass we have. We have a ton of other field passes that are going to contribute to this field pass, but also give you their own rewards in their self. So first, starting off, you're going to get a gold player pack. Cool, whatever. You pull something good. You don't pull something good. You make 5K. 5K right there. There's 10,000 coins for free. Another 10,000 coins. And then here's this 90 overall tile law. I mean, if you have a terrible team, you may need him. He has some upgrade tokens, and he actually plays on my team, I think. I think he goes up to a 92, but on my theme team, I think he's a 93, if I'm not mistaken. Or he might go up even higher than that. But then you um get this Ray Lewis token, which you get Ray Lewis free for literally just playing the game this season. And then um, level 12, you're going to get a max fantasy pack. Level 13. I'm not going to go through every single one of them. As we just scroll through, you can just see all the coins you're going to get. You're going to get a set four token. If you get four of those, you can get any 94 within the game. You get a random strategy item. Playmaker pack. Cool. That's coins. That's coins. It's a free pack. Ray Lewis upgrade once again. Ray Lewis is going to be a really nasty card throughout the season. Then you're going to get your first Ty Law upgrade. And then from the, there on out, you get another set four token, which you're going to be able to get, like I said, a 94, a Star Elite pack. Best packs in the game, 100%, without a doubt. Then you get another Ray Lewis um then you're working your way through some pretty good players. Defensive tackle has been a weak spot in the game the whole entire year. So for a defensive tackle, Chris Jones, 93 overall. This is a really good defensive tackle for any team. I don't care which team you have. I don't care if you have a theme team or not. With my theme team, he's probably going to go up to like a 95. But without uh, my theme team, you can still have him. He's a 93. And then you're going to get some more coins. You're going to get Max Fantasy. You're going to get a Pro Playmaker. You're going to get another Ray Lewis upgrade. You're going to get a Playmaker pack. Um, and then at level... 44 you're gonna go in and snatch this jerry rice 95 overall this is gonna be a great card all year well not all year long this isn't gonna be like a an in-game card but this is gonna be a really good card 95 speed 87 jumping 93 catching 92 catching traffic 95 spec catch and just some other he's 62 200 he's just gonna be a great card he probably has some great ability buckets as well not exactly sure on that but i'm pretty positive he's gonna be a pretty good card year round um and then from then on out, you get another set four token, which is going to be your last set four. No, you get one more of them. Um, you're going to get your another set four token. You're getting another Star Elite, some more coins, 20K each at this point, another Pro Maker. Um, you're going to get a Ray Lewis upgrade, 20K coins. And then this is all just bonus stuff. An S4 94 overall choice upgrade. So this is like giving you a free 94 to any of those cards. So Chris Jones goes to a 93, you can get him a 94. Tyler Log goes to a 93, you can get him a 94. Or you can get um, Joe Montana to a 94. You also got Star Elite, and then you got a Triumph Elite Pack. So there's a ton of re rewards in that. I'm sorry to just go ahead and rant through all of that. I just took like two minutes of time. But let's go and get into what you can really be doing to grind this field pass out and get to that level 60, that triumph elite pack to get to that collectible, get to that star elite, get to that Jerry Ross level 44. Let's show you what you're going to be doing first head over and make sure you're doing your dailies. I've already said that. And then every single week they added this in very recently. Well, 
I guess about 15, 16 weeks ago, but very recently they added this week one, week two, week three in, and every single Friday you get new stats that you need to do in game. So like um, week one, you went ahead and got win 15 head to head or solo battle games. So even if you're not good at head to head, you can go play your solo battle games or play head to head, record 10 interceptions or in head to head or solo battles. You've got pass for 10 or a thousand yards with two playoff players in your lineup. That should be really easy to get those two playoff players. There's literally 82 overalls that sell for like 3000 coins if you're really desperate for those, but you should have free playoff players that you're getting from other field passes. And I'm gonna go over later in the video. And then you got four or five, uh, four or five fumbles. Every single week you're gonna get um, 46,000 XP. It's gonna be a really great way, or is this 46,000? Uh, 48,000, 48,000. So every week, 48,000. It comes out every Friday. Make sure you do it. There's no reason not to. If you're behind on these, like this one right here, it's kind of hard. Repun three um, punts or kickoffs in head to head. It's it's kind of difficult. That doesn't really matter. And, and like I said, make sure you're doing your dailies. You're going to get, you know, um, 2,000, 3,000, and 1,000. That's 6,000 every single day. Cool, whatever. I'm pretty sure you can literally get to level like 50 without doing anything but your dailies. Um, anyway, next thing we're taking a look at, I'm going to take a look at the um, playoffs. It's going to give you a lot of stuff. Now, this one is actually finishable. You can finish this playoff um, field pass. While I'm going to go over some other field passes, this is a really important one. Um, it, as you notice, every other level, you're going to actually get 20,000 XP. Every other level, um, 20,000 XP, 20,000 XP, 20,000 XP. So that's the most important part about these is that 20,000 XP because you're going to be able to upgrade your original field pass. So that is really good. Um, obviously, you have these things you have to do. So make sure you are completing these. I'm not going to go through all these. Make sure you're doing your stats. Uh, make 120 tackles. Like, really? That's not difficult. Make 25 stacks, sacks. Like, really? That's not difficult. Do your challenges. Do your challenges are worth it. You're going to get Darrell Revis upgrades. Um, sets. Do your sets. They don't cost much. They're not going to make you lose much. House rules. Simple. Um, touchdowns and head-to-head, -head, okay, whatever. Might take a little while, but it's worth it. And then for literally just reaching level 5 in this, you get 2,000 XP. So, like, it's just, like, free. And, yeah, just grind this all the way up till you are at level 21. I didn't notice how close I was to actually finishing this. All I need to do is get sat or tackles. Like, I could get 20 more tackles, and I think I'm done with this. Or, no, I'd have to get, I'd have to get 120 tackles, and I'm going to be able to finish this all the way off. So, that's what I'd be doing there. If I was you, just do these stats, get through this. It's going to give you 20K every single time, and you're going to be able to upgrade it a lot quicker. Weekly wildcard, these do not give any XP, but these are good because, you know, you can get a weekly wildcard token, meaning you can get a free um, weekly wildcard of your choice at any time, and then you're going to get a 91 plus B&D overall weekly wildcard. Why wouldn't you want to do this? Do your challenges and um, do your weekly wildcard stats and sets and all that. Now, the next and maybe controversially the most important one is going to be your competitive pass every single week you can get about 14 to 15 levels on this one and it's going to give you xp from your main one it's going to give you midfield packs it's going to give you 10,000 coins it's going to give you red zone packs which are always good for me it's going to give you um xp blitz like random blitz 91s 30,000 xp there 30,000 xp there 30,000 xp there um, you're going to get a Tommy DeVito card, which is actually not a bad card, despite him being very bad in person. And you're also going to be able to get this two times Legends pack, which is, they're decent. You know, hopefully you can hope for the best. Now, the way you are actually going to have to do these is you're going to have to play online games. Every single one of this is going to be online, or you got your solo battles you could play, which are just so tedious and boring. So who would really want to play those? But like, here they are. Every Friday they refresh other than milestones. Milestones do not refresh. So um, these, after you do them, you can't do them anymore. But they get you some pretty good competitive pass XP. Now, if I am suggesting you do any one of these or target any one of these, maybe you don't get to play the game very often. But if you um, if you don't get to play the game very often, just target the win Mutt Champs game. Get five of them. That'll give you 90 right there. And five Mutt Champs games, it's not hard to win. Maybe play 10 if you're very bad at the game. Play 10, you'll win five. That's a 50% win rate. You should easily be able to do that. Um, And then you've got return kickoffs for yards. That's so simple. You can get 20 every single time you return the ball. Play literally like three games and you get this done. You're going to get 25 comp points for that. And then um, score points, um, score extra points. So basically just get a touchdown and take your extra point. You do that 10 times and you're going to go get it, 
go ahead and get another 25 now. Win much in games, you're not going to be able to win 20 every week. Winning 20 is going to be very, very unlikely. And then score touchdowns, also going to be very simple. You're going to get 25 as well every time you do that. There is your dailies. Make sure you're doing your daily as well. Dailies as well. Those are very effective. But as you can see here, it's very easy. Like every level is about 50 to 60 competitive pass tokens. In the first like right now, like you can get like the first... 15 levels if you're just now starting this and then after that you can get about eight or nine every week because these do start to ramp it up a little bit after you get levels after levels so these are pretty good though um if we scroll through here you're going to get some really good xp you're going to get um this 94 uh evans i'm not even going to try to say that you're going to get another touchdown pack and then you're going to get two more legends so it, it's good um that's that's my point though you literally just do your do your comp best um the best way to do that is just by doing your competitive, doing your playoff, doing your other things, and you're going to be able to upgrade your main one very, very quickly. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope this did help, and it did. Please make sure to subscribe. Peace.